Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to today's book review, which is on Amazing Grace Adams by Fran Littlewood. For those of you new to my channel, welcome. My book reviews are spoiler free. I will give you an overview of the book and explain why I rated it, what I did. I rate every book one to five stars. One star, did not like the book. Two stars, eh, it was okay. Three stars, it was a good book. I liked it. Four stars, great book. I loved it. And then five stars are those more random books that just blow my mind and I want you all to read them. All right, so let's get talking about this book. I originally grabbed this book. If you saw my Aardvark Book Club box unboxing when I, I had selected this book, I had looked for something funny. I was like, this woman is in her 40s. She's struggling with a lot of things that I can relate to. It was not what I expected, okay? So I just want to clarify that for you all. This was a difficult, difficult read. And I felt it the first few pages in. The tone of the book, everything. We are actively watching this woman self-destruct, essentially. She is in a very difficult point in her life. She's 45 years old. She has a teenage daughter who just turned 16, who is not speaking to her um, her and her husband are having marital problems. She's having issues within her career. She's having issues with her aging, with being perimenopausal. Her whole sense of herself, the ways in which she used to identify as a successful, strong, independent woman have been shaken to the core, and she is struggling with that. This book is going to take us masterfully, and that is a key word, masterfully through this day in her life, but we're going to jump back into two critical points in time. And through these timelines, we're going to really get to understand Grace, what's gone on in her life, her, her husband, who he is, her daughter, who she is, and what the whole family has been struggling with. I, at the beginning of this book, guys, I had considered DNFing it. I was like, I don't know if I can handle this read. It is really heavy. I stuck it out, and I am so glad I did. I'm going to tell you right now, I ended up giving this book five stars. This book absolutely blew my mind. So we're going to start with Grace, stuck in traffic in a traffic jam. And you know this from the description of the book. And she is basically going to just say, screw it. She is going to get up and leave her car in the middle of the expressway and just start walking. She has promised her daughter for her 16th birthday that she is going to bring her this birthday cake. And she is committed to walking across the city, getting to the bakery, and getting walking this birthday cake to her daughter in time. It is during the course of that walk that we're going to, the whole book is going to pretty much cover the, well, it will cover the course of that walk and then a little bit at the end, but we're going to jump back in time and learn about how her and her husband met. And we're gonna travel from the point in which they met to the point in which they got married. And then they're becoming parents in their early married life, their middle married life up until the now where they are at now as far as their relationship goes. Then we're going to have another timeline we're going to jump back into, and that is going to be four months ago. And this one is really going to be focused more around Grace and her daughter and how things have evolved, what has led to the estrangement that is in place in the present time, the day that Grace is walking to get this cake for her daughter's birthday. And through that timeline, we're going to get to know her daughter very well. We're going to get to understand um, what has gone on that has created the strain between herself and her daughter. And then we're going to basically see where are her and her daughter's relationship at today. And then the book is going to essentially bring everything to an ending and that is the whole thing I just thought to be incredibly, incredibly powerful. But I just want to warn you guys, this is not the light read I thought it was when I unboxed it. This is definitely, definitely more intense. Um, the thing I thought that was absolutely beautiful that I felt like when I read this book is that the whole walking process for Grace, as she's reflecting on her life, she is becoming more enlightened. 
into what has the decisions she's made, the choice, the choices that have gotten her to where she is today with her husband and with her daughter, with her career. And I, it was just beautifully done because as Grace herself becomes enlightened, we as the reader are becoming enlightened. So the whole journey that we're taking, we're taking with the main character, just a masterful book. Now, I normally will not put a five-star book up on Pango, but I'm going to tell you guys that this book struck me to the core. I don't know that I can ever actually read it again, but, but, and I, I will never forget this book. It is sticking with me. I think it's one of those books for me that I can only read one time, but it is one of my most favorite books of all time. When I finished reading this, I couldn't wait. I told my husband, Chris, I told him the whole book. Like I took him through and I described everything because I thought it was such a cool journey, such a great story. Um, and he sounded like he was as blown away as I was or as impressed as I was by just the nature of the story itself. So this is one, if you're interested, I will have a link to my Pango shop below. I will be listing I'll also just have links if you want to grab a new copy, but I am telling you, pick the right time in your life and sandwich it between two very light reads, but this book is worth picking up. Five stars for Amazing Grace Adams, one of my favorite books of all times. All right, guys, that is it for this book review. Now let's go read some more books. Happy reading.